Hey guys, Dennis from DC Super Shine. Uh, we are working on some rims today, and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, have many questions about sanding. And uh, I'm gonna go into as much detail as I can on sanding. So uh, I'm gonna show you a couple rims here and the differences between both and what I use and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so just to show you guys, I don't get many rims that are this bad, but um, this is a front rim, so it's just the back side of it. And, uh, but you know, sometimes you'll get the back side rims that are this bad. So this one's extremely rough. Um, it's been uh, on the truck for a few years and you know, this part of the rim has never been polished. So if you were to polish this, what I would do first is I have these high strength discs. So this would be my medium and this is my soft. Um, I wouldn't use a medium on this because it requires a lot more sanding if you use it. I basically use these only if I'm stripping off Durabrite coating. So if I'm working on a Durabrite and it needs to be polished, I'll strip the coating with this first and then I'll go straight to sanding and sanding I'll go 183, 20, 400 and 600 uh, and then start polishing. For this, in this case here, I would clean these up with these softer ones. Um, it's just basically to get the surface uh, nice and ready for sanding. And then once I use this, I would go 180, 320, 400 and 600 and then, you know, start the two-step polishing, polishing process. On this rim, on the other hand, uh, this rim is probably oxidized from about a year. So, you know, the last time this was polished was about a year ago. Um, so you're going to need a lot less work on this type of a rim. Um, I would start with 320. Even the inside here is still pretty, you know, pretty shiny and, and in fairly good shape. So I'd probably go 400 and 600 on the inner part. And then on the outer part here, it's a little bit pitted and all that kind of stuff from road grime and whatever. So I would start with 320 on the outer and then so 320, 400 and 600 on this section here. Okay, so I call this the inner part and this is the outer. Um, and then I would start again a two-step polishing process. And uh, let's get into that. Hey guys, uh, a point I forgot to make is um, whenever you're not sure what grit to start with, uh, you know on any aluminum or stainless for that matter So let's say that you're looking at a rim and you're thinking that you have to start with 320, but you're not sure So it's always safer to start with one grit lower and work your way up Than you know starting with a grit higher and then having to go back and do your work. So for example um, Let me flip this around and show you So on this rim, I was just talking to you guys and saying that I should start 400 and 600 in here and then start with 320 here, right? So I'm looking at the inside here and for me personally, I would probably only do a 600, okay? But to be safe, I'm going to start with 400 because often what happens is if you use a grit a little bit higher, you'll sand it down, start polishing, and then you'll see some imperfections, uh, all that kind of stuff. So it's just safer. Uh, or smarter actually to start with a grit lower you think it's going to take more time but really it doesn't you know it's a couple more minutes and that way you're always going to be sure that your surface is smooth and ready for polishing because often what will happen is especially on you know your outer part here you'll get a bunch of uh, pit marks and stuff like that and you say oh, this looks pretty good you know I'm going to start with 400 here so you go 400 and 600 and then you start your polishing process and then all of a sudden you still see that there's a bunch of pits, there's some scratches left, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you think you're, gonna, you're good at 400, start with one grit lower. That's why I'm going to go 320 here. So 320, 400 and 600 and that way I'm sure that my surface is going to be nice and prepped and ready for whenever I polish, I'm going to have that finish that I'm looking for. So hopefully that makes sense and that helps a lot of your, you guys. I know that's one of the main questions that I get when it comes to sanding is people just never know what grit to start with. So, uh, you know, just one grit lower is a good rule of thumb. By the way, for those of you that have your panties in a bunch, I do wear a mask. If there it is.
Okay guys, so the sanding is completed. Um, inside I did uh, 400 and 600, and then on the outer part I did 320, 400 and 600. Um, I spent a little bit more time on the 320 because uh, there was it was machine grooved, so there was lines in it, and I wanted to get those lines out and stuff like that. So technically I could have went with uh, with 320, or sorry, with 180. Uh, but uh, I just kept going with the 320. I was already using it and stuff like that. So and it worked out great anyways. So uh, on this rim, I used five or six sheets of 320, five of 400 and two of 600. So whenever you're doing your 600 grit, actually three sheets if you count the one that's on my, on my sander there too. So um, this is not the norm. Um, you know, like I said, I used a little, I probably used a little bit more 400 than I should have. But that's because my first grit on the inside was 400, so you always use a little bit more paper paper on your uh, on your first grit. So that's something I wanted to mention as well is when you're doing sanding, your first grit, so the first grit that you choose to use, is always going to be the bulk of your work, and of course the bulk of the paper that you're going to be using. So you know you you want your surface where you want it to be when you're done your first grit. All the other grits after are basically removing the sander marks from your prior grit. So you don't want to be trying to re be removing uh, pits and scratches and stuff like that with 400 and 600. You want to be doing that with the 180 or the 320. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So anyways, uh, we're gonna get into polishing now.
Okay guys, so the rim is polished. Just a quick two step. And now we're just gonna clean it up real quick with some blue metal polish, some blue flash. Get some of the black residue off and the rim will be completed. Hey guys, Dennis from DC Super Shine. Just want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Really appreciate it, it means a lot. If you want to hit the subscribe button at the bottom and you'll keep getting some of these teaching videos that I've been posting, try to be posting every week. Thanks.